it's spring. I'm going to say it, okay? I said it two weeks ago on a sunny day, and the, uh, the next two weeks it rained. But I'm going to do it again. I think the spring's finally here. It's warm. The roads are in a nice condition. <laughs> Elsewhere than where I currently am. Temperatures are even getting up a little bit. And given that this Friday is Good Friday and the Easter holidays, I think a lot of people are going to choose this weekend to get out on their bike for the first time this season. Now, I'm not a seasonal rider. I ride all year round. And even I need to, you know, build things back up before you start properly gunning it around. You need to build back up to be used to that and not pushing things too early. Like, for me, in the winter, I just calm down. I just, I just want to get A to B. I'm not riding for fun, necessarily, although it is fun, but you know what I mean? I'm not pushing corners, playing with grip, and, you know, just having a bit of a laugh. I'm just A to B. -ing. So for the people who've been off a bike all winter and about to get back on, I always do one of these videos this time of year to sort of say, hey, remember, you're a little rusty. You do need to check the bike over also. I've just done that with both my bikes. Both have been MOT'd. Both passed. Yeah. It's a bit of a disadvantage having both your bikes MOT's due in March, but at the same time, it guarantees that you make sure they're in tip-top condition, ready for the start of the summer. Derek is running very nicely, I have to say. <laughs> Such a child. Sounds so good. I'm trying to remember now if I have a dedicated video for sort of pre-season checks, but you know the things you should check. Brakes, tyres, oil, coolant. Make sure the bike's safe. Get out there and just slowly build up as, you know, as your, uh, as your rust is knocked off. Also remember, uh, as you may have forgotten, that people's driving standard over the uh, past few years, two years, three years, has degraded steadily by the month. And I will tell you now, as a rider who's been riding all year, they have not got any better in the last six months. Still to this day, I'm going around thinking, am I living in a dream world where everyone forgot how indicators work, how to look, how to be considerate, how to remember a person on a bike as a human being, you know, you know the sort of stuff. Well, it's worse. Also, to those of you who are considering getting a bike this summer, do it. Do it. Do it. Even if you're just going to go and get a CBT and get a 125, that is enough to let you experience what having a bike is like. If you like a 125, you're going to like bigger bikes. If you don't like a 125, I don't think you're going to like bigger bikes. Because, it, you know, as I say, it is quintessentially most of what motorcycling is without all of the extra power. And there's a lot of people out there who've got the money, got the willingness, and just haven't made the jump to do it. And they're waiting for some sort of kick up the butt. Well, again, this is what I do at least once a year. This is the kick up the butt. Go and get it. Go and get the license. If you can afford to do it, go and do the CBT. Have fun. Get a 125. If you enjoy it, go and do your bigger license. Move on and up and up. And you'll love it. Motorcycling is amazing. Motorcycling in the summer is a lot better than the winter, though. But then, as I say, without the rough, how can you appreciate the smooth? visibility around corners. This is a nice fun little road, you know, there's nothing serious about this, just trundle on down it. Very enjoyable. I will say that the, uh, you know, the greyness of the winter really does get me after a while. Just this, you know, the, the warmth, the colours, the smells, you know, the odd sweet smell of some, like, flowers or something. Oh, it's just, it's a nectar to my brain. I love it. Oh, wait. Do I want to go this way? Do I want to 
want to go the other way. I want to go the other way. I want to go the other way. Another Yui. Yeah, there's a corner. Don't cut it. <laughs> I just see. I say that, and then I. I wasn't cutting a corner, I just got a little bit too close to mud. I try and do one of these videos once or twice a year, you know, just to remind people to do the bits we know we're supposed to do. Butterflies here, it's spring. It's just because I've been riding now for a long time and you see it. It happens right at the beginning of every riding season. People get out the first weekend and then in, literally in the first 20 minutes, the first hour or two, the first ride or the first couple of days, the first weekend, They'll bin the bike. It'll, you know, it's a big problem. It's expensive. You could get hurt. It ruins your whole riding season. All for not just realizing that as humans, we keep hold of skills, but you do need to resharpen them occasionally, especially if you're not using them all the time. Oh no! I've just realised what road I've come down. This is Puncher Highway. <sighs> Please no. Please no. I don't know what sort of a summer we're going to have this summer. Last year, with the with the drought and the hot weather, I mean, I, I was actually kind of loving it. We can't have summers like that all the time, but at least it seems like we've had a lot of rain to make up for that drought. It certainly seems to be a lot of precipitation coming out throughout the uh, these roads. As you go up and down the hill, it comes across backwards and forwards. More fly tipping, as usual. I'm not seeing that as gravel or stones, I'm just seeing it as punches. This bike is so punchy. So I love the thing. Ooh. So yeah, if you are going to get out this weekend, as I say, do remember to give your bike a once over and check the important things, tyres and brakes and stuff like that. And just remember to build it up slowly so you can have a nice fun riding season and not a very short unpleasant one <laughs> enjoy the ride if you think this video is useful maybe share it with some other people hit the like button if you want to help support this channel you can do that through patreon otherwise i'll catch you in the next one bye bye